everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 11. I have people coming in here and trying to interrupt my video with text messages. But anyways, we got a lot of stuff here today. We have uh, some stuff for you CM Punk fans over here. We're going to do a sweet CM Punk fix-up that I can't wait to get started on. We're going to work on my boy Zack Daddy right here. We got Zack Daddy on the operation table. We got um, another Zack Daddy back there. And then we got a final woo-woo-woo right here. Three figures. We're going to do a bunch of swapping there. We got some head swaps, some arm swaps, and um, a full fix-up. We're going to be doing some acetone. We're going to be doing some crazy stuff today. So uh, I think... I think it's three total projects, four total projects. I honestly cannot remember, but uh, let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing here today on episode 11 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. So the projects that we have for you guys today, um, I guess we can start off with CM Punk. We'll start off with CM Punk just because, uh, well, just because. That's what, that's what I said we're going to start with. So first up, we have CM Punk. As you can see, we have the one in the wheelchair over here. We'll wheel him on up here. And um, what we have is two different CM Punk figures. You guys can see this is the Elite 11 CM Punk with a different head scan on there, the longer haired head scan. And I think this is one of my favorite CM Punk figures. I just really like this attire. It's very similar to the Elite 16, but it's a little bit differently. And um, I'm very excited to make this fix up. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a fix up CM Punk of the actual event where he cashed in on Edge and won the World Heavyweight Championship. So we got his black briefcase right here. What we have to do to make this fix up accurate, the attire is already there. We have to slide the elbow pad off acetone the chest tattoo off. I'm also probably going to acetone the beard off and then, um, not in this episode, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to paint or acetone the beard off, but I will be acetoning the chest piece off. Um, I just want to make it more accurate. I'll probably do a 5 o'clock shadow on that CM Punk head, but we're also going to be popping off these kick pads, switching on some smaller knee pads like this, and then we have to switch on the black X hands, which you can see here on this uh, Best of Pay-Per-View CM Punk Elite that used to be a custom, but then it sort of just got scrapped for fodder. So that's what we're going to use him for today. We're going to be taking his arm or his knee pads, we're going to be taking his hands, and we're going to be fixing up this CM Punk to be accurate to the night that he cashed in on Edge. Then, uh, what else we got over here? We have the Elite 59 or Elite 60 uh, Zack Ryder. I think it's the Elite 59. What we're going to be doing with this guy is, uh, if you guys can see, um, he has these Sting boots on there. And I like the Sting boots a lot, and I know that they're accurate. On this night, he actually had uh, these boots with a ZR logo that were in black, so you couldn't even see the ZR logo. But if you'll notice, his Elite 9 figure right here has the same boots but with his ZR logos on there in black and then silver uh, stuff going around the edges of the boots. I think I'm going to switch these boots. I think that uh, it'll look a lot better. A little, it'll be a lot cooler since you know we have Zack Ryder logos all over this. Silver can go with any colorway and I think that the black and silver boots from this Elite will look better on the updated Zack Ryder. So we're going to be switching these boots. I also would like to switch out these biceps. I just don't know if I have the right biceps and one day I need to switch out these legs. While I do like Zack Ryder and I love the large leg look you know he's muscular he's very very muscular which is why I want to switch out these arms I think these legs make him a bit too tall I feel like I would like to see the uh, maybe these legs um, or this size legs from this Zack Ryder would look better these are just I think too ripped or something I think like a more mass or muscular you know uh, bigger and bulkier legs would be better um, and a bit shorter just because I think he's too tall I could be wrong about that that's just something that I like and then um, I need your guys help on this I want to know what head scan looks better to do you like the custom BEW one right here, or do you like the Mattel one? I honestly like BEWs. I think the eyes are more accurate. However, uh, I feel like, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you like the Elite one right here from Elite 59, or do you like the custom one from uh, BEW? Another thing that I'd like to do one day, I'm not going to do it today, but I would like to switch the torsos. I think this torso works better for Zack Ryder. A bit more jacked, a bit more, you know what I'm saying, bulkier. This, I don't know, it makes his neck look weird or something. I feel like this looks a lot better for him. But I may be crazy. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about that. This is a former custom I had a while back. He actually has a broken hand, so that's unfortunate. But that's what we're going to be doing with Zack Ryder. And then for our final two guys, all we're going to be doing is doing a head swap with this Shawn Michaels. I already have another Elite 19 Shawn Michaels, so we're just going to be popping um, this head scan on there, making an earlier 2000 Shawn Michaels out of this. And then we're going to be popping this black arm sleeve 
onto Kofi Kingston so his right arm will have the black long sleeve with this black attire and will pop the hand into the black sleeve and all will be right in the world and I think that's it for all of the fix ups we're going to be doing here today. I also have these arms but I don't think I'm going to be switching it. Um, these are what I was going to use for Zack Ryder but now that I look at it I think the skin tones may be different. I can't, I don't, I don't even know but I think these arms will work better. They're just a little bit bigger. They're not as ripped up, you know, they're not as defined but I think the bigger arms like Seth Rollins, I think these look better and uh, I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. But let's go ahead and get into our swappages. So before we get into the switches, what we're going to be doing is removing. We're going to be using our laser removal technique with this nail polish remover. 100% acetone, as you guys can see. Equate, you know, it's very cheap stuff. I think you can get it for like 97 cents or something at Walmart. I, I can't even remember how much it costs. But 100% acetone, be sure to ask your parents first before you use it. I'm going to be using these Q-tips. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, first of all, we need to take off his elbow pad here because he did not have the elbow pad on when he cashed in on Edge, so we're going to be getting rid of this. So after removing the elbow pad, we're going to put Punk back in his spot, and oh my god, what in the hell is that? I think there's like some factory glue on his little trunks there, and that's, that's pissing me off. But anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then pour some into the top. So you guys can see I have poured my acetone into the top right here, and I just sort of fill it about halfway up or so, and then I take my Q-tip, um, I think there's a fun fact, I don't think that the acetone works on certain parts of the Mattel figures, I could be wrong about that, but um, I think the torso will work, all you gotta do is uh, just follow these steps right here, I dip it in like so, and then you're just gonna, I don't, I don't, you don't want to get it on any other parts, but you just want to put it on the part that you want to remove, and just sort of swipe like so. And you guys can see that it is removing, but uh, you want to be careful and make sure you don't go over the same spot over and over. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get the uh, the smudge marks from the Q-tip onto the figure. So uh, make sure that you're turning it, and you know what I'm saying, so you don't keep going over that same spot. That way you don't rub the paint into the chest. And like so, I kind of did it right there. But no worries, that's why I have a handful of Q-tips right here that we can just move on to the next one. And you guys will see it, what it looks like when it's done. So here's what we're left with when we're done, guys. Honestly, I think I left the acetone on there a bit too long. You can kind of see it has that shimmer to it. That's actually kind of normal, but um, what you guys probably can't see is like it kind of looks like there's some white streaks on it, which is probably damage to the plastic, which means that I left the acetone on there a little too long. That means that it started to melt the plastic. So you definitely want to be, you know, easy and slow when you're doing this. I probably rushed it just a little bit, but um, what I'm probably going to do later on is do the BW method. And usually when you take some uh, Mod Podge from some matte Mod Podge and you put it on there, it usually fixes that. And what I'll probably do is put that on there and then come back with a dull clear coat to uh, wipe over it so that way the whole figure will have the same, you know, sort of finish to it. But that is the first process in making this cash-in fix-up CM Punk. So we did do that. I mean, I'm happy with it. I like the way it came out. Even if it does have a little bit of damage, you can't really tell that bad. So I am uh, excited for the way this turned out. Now what we have to do, I think we're done with the acetone. Like I said, I don't think I want to acetone the beard off today. I'll do that in another video and probably update you guys as we go. But now what we can do is go ahead and heat up these hands and then we'll heat up the kick pads. And I guess we can do both punks at the same time. That way we can part switch really quickly. All right guys, so what I have here is both CM Punk's hands in the way of the fire. We're also going to be putting this Shawn Michaels. Actually, that's not gonna work, Brad. You gotta get his head without covering the hands. So we're gonna do that right right there or something like that and um, I guess I can just stick this head in here maybe it'll heat it all up but the only way we're gonna know is if we uh, try it so let's go ahead and get the trusty old white hair dryer we're gonna pop this in the screen and I'm going to heat this up and we're gonna see how this switch goes just I wanted to knock out the HBK head swap in the middle of it just because I know there's no point in having its own segment so let's go ahead and try to knock all of it out at once All right, guys, we're going to see how this goes. No promises, though. All right, we have HBK's head, and it popped right off, so that actually worked. Let's see if the head swap will be complete. 
if we just pop this, my god, his back is on fire. It's like he literally caught fire on his back or something. The devil is on Shawn, Mc, uh, Shawn Michaels' back here. And the head swap did actually work. So now what we're going to do is put Shawn Michaels away. And uh, we'll, look, we'll take a closer look at him at the end of the video. Uh, we got CM Punk's uh, Red X handout. We got the other one out. And let's see if we can have the same luck with these hands. Because remember, we got to have those black X hands. All right, we got the right fist out or the left fist out. And let's see if this one will come. Oh, God, that's scary. I'm going to heat that up a little bit longer and I'll pop it out. Um, because I don't want it to snap the peg. It'll literally ruin the fix-up if we do that. So I'll go ahead and heat that up real quick, and we'll come right back. So there's that. Let's go ahead and see if that was good enough. All right, so we got both X hands, so that's great. Now all we have to do is uh, heat up these holes, and I guess we can heat up both holes that way. This CM Punk's not handless. The red X's will still look good because we have the red on this attire, even though it's just a stupid attire that uh, didn't work out like I planned. But uh, we'll have some CM Punk fodder, I guess, so that's pretty good. Uh, but we're going to pop these hands in here. Let's see if the hands will go back in. We'll start with the black because they are the most important. Let's see the right hand right here. Ah, Christ. Moving on to the left. Yeah, that's not going in there, Brad. That is not going in there. Uh, I'll see you when we get it in there. All right, so I finally got the hand switch. Now what we have to do is heat up those kick pads so we can switch the knee pads. And um, I guess we can go ahead and heat up Zack Ryder's boots. That way we'll do all the feet switching at once. So uh, while we heat up the kick pads, we're going to do the same with Zack Ryder's boots. All right, the crappy thing about heating up kick pads, like the ones that CM Punk has on, is they're really tricky. It's a really tough thing to learn and get the hang of. Um, I, I like to do it with water. Usually hot water is better for the kick pads, but we're just going to see it here. Maybe I've gotten better at it since I've done a lot of part switching. Well, I guess we'll just find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how this works out. Got the one Zack Ryder boot. Got the other Zack Ryder boot. Moving on to the other Zack Ryder figure. Got the one boot. Got the other boot. Now I guess we can go ahead and pop on his other boot. So we have the black and silver one from the Elite 9 right here. Go ahead and pop this on. And then the same with the other, just like so. And then we'll go back to the other figure and pop these on real quick before they cool off. And there's the one. Oh, come on, Brad. And there's the two. So we got the Zack Riders done. Now let's see how the CM Punk does. Got the one kick pad off the fix-up punk, just like so. And now these are the tricky ones. And not tricky at all. It literally popped right off. I don't know why I used to have such difficulty with those, man. I used to try to switch out Finn Balor's, and my God, guys, it was it was so frustrating. I used to, like, curse out the figure. I'm not even lying. So there's the left knee pad, and then here's the right knee pad. We'll go ahead and set that over there. And now uh, I guess we can try and pry these off. It's harder because, you know, these little cuffs at the top of these kick pads. Two different kick pad molds, so you got to try to slide the knee pad over that. And this is probably going to be a little bit difficult, but... Uh, I guess I'll, got, I'll see you guys on the other side of it. Got the one off and got the second one off. I guess it wasn't that hard because of uh, the, the heat. The heat made it all moldy. But I'm just going to throw those over there and we're not going to worry about putting the uh, bigger knee pads onto this punk. So we're just going to slide these kick pads back on. And this CM Punk, I guess, will just be uh, knee padless. And if we need to come back for other parts off this guy, we can just come back for parts on this guy. But thank you, Mr. Punk, for all of your service. And uh, now he's a little wobble knees there like he was in UFC. But we're just going to toss him back there. And we're going to proceed to put these, kick, these knee pads on this punk because of... Uh, I'm going to see you guys on the other side again because, like I said, getting these smaller knee pads over this mold is a lot tougher. Got the one on there. Got the second one on there, so now I guess we can try and kick the, put these kick pads back on. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll see. And it actually did, so it did go on there. Now we got to get the right one on. And we got it, so boom, there we go. And I think that's all we have to do for this punk now, so I'm going to put him back here with Shawn Michaels. Again, we're going to take a look at everything once it's completed. Um, Zack Ryder, should I go ahead and switch the biceps? I guess we can try it. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up everything. We're going to try to heat up... Let me slide these elbow pads off. We're going to try and heat up 
uh, both sets of Zack Ryder arms since I can just swap these biceps with it. So uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and heat up both arms. And while we're doing that, we're going to heat up Kofi Kingston's as well. And maybe we can do it all at once there and we'll be done with episode 11 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, so we got Kofi in there. We got the black sleeved arm. We have both Zack Ryder's in there. Let's get this heat going. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm going to try and pop off all the arms here. So we got the one Zack Ryder arm. We have the other Zack Ryder arm. And now we have to go ahead and pop off the other Zack Ryder arms. So there's the one. There's the second. And now we got to pop off Kofi's. And we got to pull off the hand there. So pull off the hand. And now that's ready to go. But now we have to wait for the uh, hand to cool off so it can actually go up in the sleeved arm. But there is the leftover Kofi arm. And while we're waiting, we can go ahead and pop the bicep. Oh my god, it's not even hot enough. Christ on a cycle. Actually, yes it is. I, I lied. It actually is good enough. So there's the one Zack Ryder lower arm. There's the second one. That one was a lot easier than the first. Now moving on to the older Zack Ryder arms. There's that. Now I need the peg, dadgummit. Alright, so now we got all our arm pieces, guys. All you have to do now is heat everything up and it will be ready to assemble and we'll pop them back on the figures and see what all of our fix-ups look like. Since they all want to blow away, guys, we're going to open up CM Punk's Money in the Bank briefcase right here and shove it all in there and see if this will actually contain everything so we can actually heat it all up. So let's see how this goes. We have the black sleeved arm first. We can go ahead and pop Kofi's hand in here. Just like so, and we'll go ahead and pop this on his figure so we can add him to the pile of figures that we're done with. So that's that, and now we gotta assemble these arms. First up, we have the Zack Ryder arms. There's the right arm. It went ahead and popped in the pin, so we'll pop these on the figure. And then we have the left arm that we have to do as well. Got the second one, now we're going to push this in here. And now all that's left is to assemble the Zack Ryder arms and then we will take a look at everything we've done here today. So here are all of the fix-ups that we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 11. Guys, starting off with Shawn Michaels here. You can see the Elite 19 with this uh, throwback sort of head scan or, you know, older Shawn Michael head scan looks a lot better. I like the way this looks. You know, that other head scan honestly doesn't even look that much like Shawn Michaels to me. I like the way this one looks. This probably has the best likeness to Shawn Michaels in the face. You know, it's got the older, early 2000s look to it. And I like these tights for this figure. I think it looks pretty freaking clean, so I'm happy about that. Uh, again, I already have an extra Elite 19, so this is to make it look a little bit different. That way we don't have, you know, multiple of the same figure up on the shelf. Next up, we do have Kofi Kingston, guys, and I think that the black sleeve looks great. You know, he's rocked the black sleeve multiple times in his career. And I think it really brings this figure together. I know it's black. It's a plain color as far as, you know, black sort of uh, isn't very standout-ish, but it, it's nice. I think it ties together well, and um, it doesn't cover up the tattoo. So you have the tattoo on the left arm, and then the right arm is black, and it ties into the attire perfectly. Black shoes, black gold, and silver tights. And, um, yeah, perfect-looking little Kofi Kingston fix-up. I believe I've seen a few people do this before, but uh, I like the way that came out there. Next up, we have our CM Punk. This isn't anything, you know, crazy. It's just a plain old CM Punk fighter that I'll probably use for a custom later on. Uh, we have Zack Daddy right here. I think he turned out great. I really like the way the boots look. We'll get a little uh, zoom out shot so you guys can see how the silver boots came out. I think that the silver boots really tie it together even better now with that, and the bigger arms look better too. So uh, I know we didn't switch the head skins out, but I think this head scan works for now. Again, I like the Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler torso better for Zack Ryder, but I'm not going to do it right now. I think it still works right now and the bigger arms look great, and those boots really tie together nicely. That silver black with the ZR logos is great. And then, of course, we have our probably best custom or fix-up um, on this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. We have CM Punk. The only thing that CM Punk is missing is his briefcase and his World Heavyweight Championship. So we'll go ahead and stick this on here. So we have, he has his plain black Money in the Bank briefcase. 
Um, really clean CM Punk fix up. I think this is one of the only custom CM Punks in my collection now. And you guys got to witness the whole thing here on video today. Smaller knee pads look better. I think that it works way better for posing and stuff like that. Uh, the black X hands are obviously accurate. Acetoned off that chest piece. And it looks great. I'm very satisfied with the way Punk came out. He's definitely my favorite. I think my second favorite would probably be Zack Ryder. Then it would probably be Shawn Michaels. And then it would probably be Kofi. But I love all of them. I think all of them were great ideas. And if you guys like them, then you guys should totally try them out yourselves. But that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below what you think of all the fix-ups. Do you like to see him punk? Did you learn something from today's video? What do you think of HBK, Kofi, Zack Daddy, and the rest of the... Oh, my God. God, and the rest of the stuff that we got here today. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.